This video will show the full dental crown procedure. A crown can also be called a cap. Crowns or caps, whichever word you want to use, can be fabricated in either your dental office for one appointment visit, or some offices choose to have them fabricated in a dental lab, which would make it a two appointment visit. In this video, we will show the crown being made in office, so no temporary crown is needed. You'll get the permanent crown and everything will be done in this one appointment visit. First, the dentist and dental assistant will pick a shade for the crown. They use something called a shade guide to help them match to the color of the rest of your teeth. Once they pick a shade, it's go time. The dentist will numb you up so you will feel comfortable and not feel a thing throughout the entire procedure. Next, since this patient has a lower partial denture, the dentist is choosing to take a scan of the patient's original dentition before it's prepped and crowned so they can make an identical crown shape so the partial denture can fit. This is done on a case-by-case -case situation. They may also take a scan of the upper teeth so they have an impression for the occlusion, also known as the bite. If the office does not have a digital scanner, like you're seeing here, this part will be a lot more goopy for lack of a better word, with impression material. I actually have a video all about alginate impressions. If you want to learn more, I'll link that video in the bottom bar below. But yes, these digital impressions here are replacing the old school goopy impressions. Now it's time to prep the tooth. First, similar to a cavity filling procedure, the decay needs to be drilled out of the tooth. Once all of the decay is removed, then they will prep the tooth for the crown. They shave down the tooth into a shape that will allow the crown to be a cover or a cap right on top of it. As you can see, the shaved down tooth is starting to look kind of like a little stump and that's what it will look like for the crown prep. Next, they will either use a cord to pack around the gums of the tooth or some offices may even use a laser like you see here. The laser is actually troughing around the gum areas of the tooth which takes the place of cord packing. Then they might even place a material called viscostat around the gums to prevent any bleeding. Although the tissue removal with the laser in this case prevented initial bleeding. You don't see much blood when you use lasers. It's pretty cool. Either way, the viscostat material prevents any additional bleeding. Now they will take another impression of the prepped tooth. For some patients, this might be the first impression they are taking. In this video, we did take that initial impression due to the partial denture, so we can make an identical crown dimension to fit. But either way, here we are taking another digital impression. And next, they will design the crown. Again, in this case, they are also copying the same dimensions of the side of the tooth that the partial denture connects to. After designing, the crown is ready to be milled. They will place a block of ceramic, either porcelain or zirconium into the milling unit and the milling unit machine is what fabricates the ceramic block into a crown to cap your tooth. Isn't that kind of cool? The full milling process time usually depends on the unit and the block material used, but with the machine we're using in this video, it usually takes only about 15 minutes. If your dentist does mill their own crowns in office, you can always ask if it's okay for you to watch the process. Sometimes they'll have the milling unit in their lab or a different room from where the mouth prep was happening. So if you're interested in watching your crown being milled, it can't hurt to ask. But if you have no interest, no problem. This is some extra downtime for you to relax your jaw and just kind of hang out until the crown fabrication is complete. After the crown is milled, they will most likely steam it and then bring it back to you for a fit test. Sometimes, depending on the material of the block, they will need to stain it and glaze it and put it into a furnace to harden it and then bring it back to you for cementation. Cementation to cement it onto your tooth. But for today's case, the material being used is already strong and the correct shade of white. So the dentist only needs to adjust and polish it before the crown gets cemented or in this case, bonded onto the tooth in the mouth. The last step, before physically capping the crown onto the tooth. The crown needs to be prepared by etching it, rinsing it, and priming it. And the tooth needs to be prepared as well for the bonding. And now, both the crown and the tooth are prepared, so the crown will now be capped onto the tooth. They might use a brush to remove residual bonding material around the crown before they harden it. Then they will use a light to light cure it aka harden it, 
Then the dentist will use an explorer to remove any residual hardened pieces of bonding material. And they will check the margins with both the explorer and with floss. Next, they may spread liquid on it, which is an oxygen inhibiting layer, which prevents staining and helps cure everything. We're curing again with the curing lights. And in this case, they will confirm that the partial denture is fitting properly around the crown. Look at that. Lastly, they may take a post-op x-ray. If there is any residual cement seen on the x-ray, they will go back in with an explorer and or scaler to remove it. And that's it. Same day crown complete. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you want more teeth talk and dental health information, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where you can find more articles and videos about healthy mouths and healthy teeth. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth.